Good morning guys. Round two of seeing what's going on at our grocery stores and I have some updates for you so you want to stay tuned. I got lots of comments on that first video and uh, I want to let you know what's going on around the country. So come on inside with me. Okay guys, the first stop I went, I wanted to go into the store and show you some things I wasn't able to show you on the last video so we could take a look at um, other items. And of course I went to the uh, the medication aisle, the OTC medication aisle, and I see that they're, eh, they're pretty well stocked on cold medicines. As many of you pointed out in my first video, it's only one or two in front. You can see in back there's not a lot of stock. So I did go ahead and pick up some NyQuil and some cold medicines. Then on to the dairy. I know we addressed some of the dairy last time. It was the yogurts and stuff, but I wanted to show you the milk and the sour creams. And uh, again, like many of you pointed out in that other video, there's only uh, milk there in the front. You don't see very much in the back. And we do drink organic milk or we do try to get milk from a local dairy. So I did pick up some, some milk here. And then on to the sour cream. It looks like it's okay. The dips and stuff. Um, good thing about the dips is they don't expire for a while. But uh, yeah, the sour cream looks to be okay. Paper goods. Didn't address paper goods last time. So I wanted to go ahead and... Uh, show you these because you do want to try to keep paper plates and napkins and cups and plastic forks and knives on hand in case you do have quite a few people at your house. You don't want to be worried about doing dishes and look here we've got uh, paper plates. I think it's 10 for $10 so I did pick up some paper plates and I picked up some napkins. Cleaning supplies. Cleaning supplies are looking okay. They had quite a bit of Clorox on the shelf, but you can see that it is isolated and it is put in a small area where that whole shelf normally is stocked with certain cleaning supplies. Mainly Clorox is uh, taken up and Windex taking up most of the space here. And then they've gone in and filled in with uh, downy fabric softener, glass cleaner, and dishwashing soap. Look what I found. I found these Essentials Disinfecting Wipes from Arm & Hammer. I did come home and verified, and these guys are on one of the list of the EPAs of registered disinfectants that have been tested through the agency's Emerging Viral Pathogen Program. It, it has shown to be effective against the, uh, the mess that's going around right now. So, these were pretty well priced. Look, $3.69, and I did see some out on Google where people were charging $21 for the Clorox wipes, they were charging $5 for these. But you can see at Kroger, it was $3.69, and they had a pretty good stock on them. Go get you some. Toilet paper and paper towels, still looking pretty good. In fact, looking at the toilet paper, I was able to get some at a very good price, and you'll see at the end of the video just how, how cheap the toilet paper was. And my suspicion is that uh, they really overran, and now uh, they're overstocked for the time being. And so they're trying, they've got it on sale to try to uh, deplete some of their stock. So uh, now's the time to get on out there and start stocking up on your paper goods. As you can see, the prices are looking pretty good. Garbage bags, um, they've been kind of slim every time I've gone in there. I can pick up garbage bags off of box.com or Amazon, but uh, yeah, uh, you can see where uh, they're having a hard time keeping garbage bags in stock. Then on to the yogurt. Yogurt's looking better than it did last time. I'm sure that uh, they are getting... Uh, their stock in. This was a Saturday morning at, a, at about uh, 9.30 in the morning. There was quite a few stockers on the floor trying to keep things going. But uh, yeah, it's uh, looking, I'd say probably about the same, maybe a little bit better. On to the frozen foods. Uh, last time we saw that uh, the frozen pizzas and the pizza rolls and stuff like that. Still a little slim, guys. You can see some empty shelves in there. I can see that the Totino's Pizza, and I have a, uh, a Totino sister out there I want to say hi to, but anyway, I can see that the Totino's Pizza is looking a little bit better. And then on over to the frozen breakfast, like the waffles and the pancakes and the sausage and biscuits, those uh, are still a little slim too, and um, I was surprised to see that. Uh, again, kids are, are at home, they're uh, schooling from home, and so parents are trying to come up with ways uh, to give them their two or three meals a day. The cheese aisle. Cheese aisle is looking a little bit better than what it did last time. Everything looked to be fully stocked. Again, this was early Saturday morning. And then the juice aisle. I wanted to show you guys the juice aisle. It's looking pretty good. Juices are very well stocked, it seems to be. I didn't see any space behind, but... You know, it's hard on Saturday morning to get through there and, and, and see really what's going on all the way down the aisle. So 
this is just a general overview. Coffee is still looking okay. I did pick up uh, some more coffee because uh, my husband loves his coffee. And I know a lot of you have suggested that uh, it was a great bartering item. Um, I'm not sure he would let me barter that away, guys. But yes, it is a great bartering item. So if you can pick it up on sale, you need to go ahead and do that. I also picked up some more of the non-dairy creamer. Baking aisle. Um, baking aisle was looking pretty good. And I highly suggest, guys, that you go ahead and start getting your needs for the Thanksgiving and Christmas holiday baking season. I do think that there will probably be a run on this. I, I think that uh, sugar and flour and all that will take a hit. But uh, right now, it's looking okay. It's good enough that I felt uh, comfortable just picking up a couple of things. But I'll keep an eye on it and uh, probably make my way back up there and stock up really well for my holiday baking season, which I so enjoy doing. And looky here, we have some canning jars. Can you believe it? It is better stocked than it was last time. I did pick up a case of my canning jars. You can see that the vinegar is still very slim. I did pick up some vinegar as well. I believe, guys, I saw that there were lids back there, and so I did pick up a couple of lids, a couple of little boxes of lids. For pints, it was for the small mouth jars, but uh, I do have plenty of small mouth jars, and I will use them. So I'm feeling a little bit better about uh, seeing the canning supplies. I know there are many of you out there who um, are having a, a shortage and you just simply can't find it, guys. I'm, I'm so sorry. Please, you know, keep looking. Um, go to your dollar stores, go to your hardware stores, like Home Depot, stuff like that. They carry some canning supplies, so just look everywhere you can. Now onto the bacon aisle. Bacon is a very important staple to us here in the South. So uh, I do try to pick up two or three pounds of bacon when I'm in the store. Uh, my grandson also loves it, so I always have to make sure I have bacon for my grand. Lunch meat's looking pretty good, thank goodness, because again, I know parents are trying to think of ways to feed their children while they're homeschooling. And another thing I didn't show you in the last video was how um, our meats were looking, and this is the chicken. This is the, the Heritage Farms, and this is the Pilgrim's Pride side of the aisle, and on the other side is uh, the Heritage Farms, which I believe is Kroger's brand. I'm not sure, but I'm not a fan of it. Was looking okay here, and I'll tell you that when all this mess started, me and my husband went into the store, and there were three packs of chicken legs. That was all that was left of poultry. And um, they had a limit that where we could only have two. And I didn't see uh, the sign that said only two. And when we got to, ch to check out, uh, she set one back. She said, no, you can only have two. Well, you know what? The lady behind me bought that and uh, caught my husband on the way out and, and gave it to him. So, you know, that was just uh, such a good feeling, but it was very concerning. So if you got room in your freezer, right now is the time to start stocking up on your meats. And if you want to can your meats, now's the time to go pick it up. The prices were very reasonable, so I was surprised. Here is the beef aisle. You can see that, uh, I think that was brisket for $1.79 a pound. I think that they probably overstocked for uh, the Labor Day weekend. And people probably didn't go into the store for fear that it was going to be too expensive, but uh, we do not have any space where I would have picked up several of them. But anyway, the beef was looking okay. Um, the only thing I saw that was a little increased was the roasts. Okay, I just encountered my first experience with mask rage. Somebody was very upset that somebody came close to him picking out his meat. A little scary. It's been seven months, guys. First time I've seen it. And then here is a, a brief picture of uh, the seafood. Seafood was looking good. They had uh, plenty of shrimp and uh, crab legs and uh, all kinds of, of good stuff. I, I didn't really see any reason to be concerned for this right now. Again, if I had freezer space, I would have stocked up a lot more than what I did. But uh, again, now's the time, guys, to get out there and start uh, stocking up on what it is that you think you need. If you have freezer space, get your meat. Be sure and get some canned goods. Please don't forget to look out for the folks um, at your local food pantries. Uh, make sure and uh, try to drop off some canned goods or something for them because, again, I think it's going to be a pretty tough fall and winter. So although everything looks to be well stocked and I was able to get everything I needed, um, again, I'm a little baffled at what's going on because I'm seeing your comments, guys, from all over the country um, about the shortages that you're seeing. Um, again, I'm here south of the DFW uh, Metroplex. Right now, we're okay. I know that that could change in the blink of an eye. Kind of expect it to, but uh, right now, I'm enjoying what I'm seeing. There's a little bit of normalcy out there. So, uh, thank you for watching. We'll be in touch, and we'll uh, do some more reporting and let you know what's going on. Stay tuned. We've got uh, the high tunnel going up. We've got our fall gardening. Things are looking good around the place. Take care. God bless. Have a wonderful weekend.